what's up guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is vicky and i am making this video from lagos nigeria guys how you doing like seriously i just i'm here to talk about the gossip that has actually been going on in the house like yes you heard me right the housemates have been gossiping but before i get into the gist please do well to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video guys these housemates are gossip like it's of course it's expected of them to talk about each other but the rate at which they are going like there will be fight one day <laughs> if the if if one of them gets to know what the other person is actually talking about he or she you understand or when they come out and start seeing videos i guess that's where the beefing would basically start so guys i know your ears are itching tell us tell us tell us what did they say what happened i am here for you now you are my book queen i'm here oh yeah oh yes thank you so much <laughs> i appreciate don't mention for the compliments <laughs> so guys what happened today was dorothy nengi and katrina we are gossiping the housemates guys i was just here looking at them like they were sitting in the garden and they were just talking about this housemate they started from talking about the dark room actually and guess what the actually person the person what katrina said katrina was the one that even, katrina now started talking about praises bola like when i say bola i mean his bola his bola that's what i'm talking about will not be mentioning the name because of youtube Dorothy and Prem, Katrina actually started talking about his bola, was just saying that praise is over over exaggerating, praise is just hyping himself for nothing, that praise is under on, on, on on the standard, like just trying to, because I'm sure that if praise actually comes out and see this video, if praise actually comes out and hear what Katrina was saying, be so embarrassed, and do not forget that it is only Katrina in that house as she has said it we have to believe it because she is the only one that has tasted and trusted so she's the only one that has tasted the gola so she's the one that will tell us how it is if it's overrated or underrated at this point she is saying it's overrated because it is like this we are basically not like this but she was actually telling the housemates dorothy and lucy that praises bola is not so big that she is just busy making mouth everywhere and just talking and being loud that he does not even know how to do this stuff and i'm like hey hey even if i'm praises fiance shame i will hide my 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 face from shame like praise will be so embarrassed when it comes up because you remember that you know that praise is just all over the place praise is very loud praise is just everywhere in the house so at this point where we have been seeing that praise has been going out and is the one that talks loud is is always there talking making mouth and then this katrina now have tested this katrina is now testifying to us that it is not up to standard that it is a uh, pin up and i don't understand it <laughs> So moving on, they started talking about no, the, 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 the Ozo, Nengi and Dorothy situation. And then Katrina was telling Dorothy that ah, she feels or uh, she knows that Ozo really likes her. Forget the fact that he likes actually hanging out with Nengi. You get that Ozo actually likes her. And then Dorothy was like, he doesn't she doesn't think about it that way because she feels Ozo told her that she sees her like a sister. And she also sees Ozo like that. That is why she actually said she wanted to remove herself. From the situation she from that triangle so that i don't look as if they are dragging anything you get and they, in fact they see these guys i just pray and hope that tomorrow ebuka just comes up with the question of, of this conversation because it was really intense like it was delicious it's not even sweet the way i'm gisting you guys to ah guys if you have seen it you will know that this housemate they have a degree more than me in gossip seriously they had a, they have a degree so what actually happened was katrin was actually insisting that actually she feels that also actually likes dorothy and then dorothy was like ah me i'm not seeing it like that you know just shy trying to say one or two things you know and then lucy actually dropped the bombshell when they were just talking about it lucy now told um dorothy that you remember that time that uh, in, in the dark room that keisha actually did um also to fondue her you know her, her oranges she was like yes she said that also's bola stood up and i'm like eee! 
see. And you know that, remember that when we were doing this shoot out there, the cameras were so careful not to really make it look very um, like nudity kind of a thing. If they say touch somebody's bulla, the camera will make sure that they cut off that side and just be showing the upside or the side when they said that they should touch um, Lucy's um, um, oranges. The camera was not just, as in the angle, I don't know what was wrong with, but with Kyle, they whether it was a conscious act or not. I don't just guess. Kyle, they was not doing his job last night, seriously. Because we were not seeing the action when they were just doing that truth or there, especially. And then Lucy confirmed to to Dorothy that Ozos Bola actually stood up and Lucy, um, Dorothy was like I can't believe it that can never be true and she was like she I am telling you that is what actually happened so then the next thing they now started gossiping see yeah, these ladies eh, they said they were gossiping for straight 15-20 minutes I can tell you that like straight 15-20 minutes they were just talking and then moving on Katrina now said that she has been watching Nengi that Nengi just had this spirit of leading guys on like her game plan Katrina actually stated Nengi's game plan she said she is actually walking around like yes she has a fine body she's attractive yet and then that she moves around the guys and lead them on and then when she knows that you're falling for her charms she just walks away so that she will keep trending like I think she has been watching the show so she said that's what she does she goes about leading guys on and then she walks away you start chasing her so outside here she is trending and if you see what is happening that is what Nengi is actually playing because Katrina for some reason is correct in that particular aspect Nengi just goes to every housemate um Kidwire will ask her do you who do you like she said Kidwire Prince I like Prince I like also she's just liking everybody in the house and just carrying her, her pretty body flaunting it around walking back and forth and making them notice her and that's just how she's been going about when you fall for her she will just walk away like chase after me and then she keeps trending and her game plan is actually working for her it's working to her favor at, at least for the longest i know till this point it's actually been working for her and then dorothy now also said that she has noticed oh god ebuka please if you're watching this video help us ask them this thing about that gossip that they gossip shake tables on sunday please i beg you dorothy now said that she has been observing that um nengi is actually competing with her like anything she does nengi wants to do it double like that nengi will want to outdo her that nengi is like in, in a competition with her like these ladies were legitly sitting down and gossiping and talking about it and i'm like hi I don't understand because one, I actually do not watch the program 247. I just pick places I watch. So guys, please, have you noticed anywhere where Nengi is actually trying to outdo Dorothy or where Nengi is actually competing in any way with Dorothy? Because I don't understand. When it comes to Ozo's attention, then yes, I felt she was there was that competition there where she wanted Ozo's attention more. But now if you observe, Ozo has actually removed his his self from Nengi at, at least in a, in, a, in a way he has actually distanced himself and I'm also in support of what Katrina said that Dorothy that also likes Dorothy I think in some way yes because he spent hands out with her a long time you guess and then moving on to the guys they were still sitting in that same garden and then Tochi was actually for some reason Tochi is now very very out there as in this second weekend Tochi and then um, Watoni I mean Tolani Badge they've already or they've actually made themselves really visible in some way I don't know if it's Kayode or not but Tochi now is giving us some kind of content so Tochi was actually gossiping with um, um Lacon and the instigator Bright have, have you guys noticed Bright I don't know for some reason uh, you guys are underrating Bright Bright is an instigator in that house Bright will push you to go and enter a pit like like Bright will ginger you to do what you don't even want to do he's highly underrated Tochi was actually talking to the housemates about um, um they were gisting actually and then they were talking about the crush that um Lacon has on Erica and then Lacon was like he had yes he has a crush on Erica and Tochi was like oh the, if you go on top of Twitter they were already finishing Tochi that Tochi is stereotyping the Igbos why are they saying Igbos like money this that 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 Tochi just said that Cherry you know that Erica is an Igbo girl and an Igbo girl is she was more or less like trying to tag her like a gold digger per se you get and then he's like going to buy a Volkswagen as in going to buy a BMW and you've been giving a, a B2 like I don't know if, if Volkswagen is a B2 brand or something like that and then Lacon was like are you calling me a Volkswagen and I'm, I, I was like Jesus Christ these people these people like Twitter is on fire abusing and insulting <laughs> insulting Tochi because Tochi is saying that 
Igbo girls are gold diggers, like they like money. And they are forgetting that the Tochi that's even talking about it, he's also an Igbo guy. Tochi. He's an Igbo guy. So that's just it. Like this housemate, they are gossiping. I'm going to be watching their their party tonight and i'll be bringing you guys the gist because kid wire has already tutored tochi on how he should go about toasting tolani badge how he should go about um like teasing tolani badge or watoni like he, he encouraged that about tolani badge saying watoni is more easier to get but he should try tolani badge first then if tolani badge doesn't accept that he should move over to Watoni because Watoni is easier to deal with. You get as in like I don't know if he's trying to say that Watoni is cheap. That kid wire, that kid wire. We will talk about him one of these days. Kid wire, kid wire. Hey, so that's just it, guys. I just said let me bring you guys the gist, the gossip, the juice that these people have been doing. They have, they have mind to be gossiping, doing my work inside Big Brother Niger house. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And guys, before I go, please, if you've watched up to this point, please, I beg you. Go to see my channel, my other, my personal channel at Vicky M. Vicky M. Please, guys, support my hustle there. That's where my hustle is. We are hustling on this platform, so please support my hustle at Vicky M. The link is in the description. Please click on the link to lead you straight to my channel. Subscribe, turn on your notification there. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.